welcome back to Book Break. We have come today for a bookshop scavenger hunt and we're not in London today. We are in Bath. I have designed us a series of challenges to take us through the bookshops of Bath and Bristol. Are you ready? I am so ready and excited. Our first stop is Topping & Co, which is a beautiful bookshop. So many books in here. I've just been looking at all of their chalkboards outside and they look like they put on so many amazing events. It looks amazing so far. Just gorgeous and it's in such a beautiful building. So the first challenge that I've got for us is to find a book that you have to reach by climbing up a ladder. That sounds dangerous. It does. I have not done my health and safety course. <laughs> Toffee & Co is stunning and huge. It was like a labyrinth. They just kept going. You didn't go downstairs. I went downstairs and it was amazing. I was wondering if it was bigger than it looked, but honestly, yeah. lots of hidden gems. Incredible. So next, we are going to a high street favorite, WH Smith. Yes. And there, the challenge is I want you to find a book that you gave five stars. Easy. Cool. This is definitely the nicest W.H. Smith I have been to. They've got this whole floor, which is the bookshop. It's a huge selection and it's such nice displays. Have you seen the lights? The gorgeous sparkly lights, amazing. And like in the children's book section, they've got the illustrations decorating it. It's perfect, honestly. It's perfect. And we both found some five star books. So what have you got? So I've got Red, White, Royal, Blue, which is one of the first book I uh, read when I got back into reading a couple of years ago and honestly I loved it so much it's the ideal perfect um, gay romance and I picked up People Like Her by Ellery Lloyd which is a thriller about an Instagram influencer so obviously I loved it it's partly about the fact that you can never fully know what's really going on in the life of someone that you follow online but it's also about the fact that you don't know what's going on in the lives of your followers. Ooh, it's okay. very tense, it's very scary, I loved it. I don't know if I can read scary, but that's No, this tempting. might not be one for you, this is one <laughs> for me. Next up, Mr. B's Emporium, which has a very special place in my heart. I've been here once before, and I filmed a video for book break, so I'll link to that below. They gave me a fully personalized book recommendation Ooh, service. Nice. It's something that you can actually buy from them. It's a oh, service okay. they do called a book spa. It's amazing, so I'll link to that below. And that's what I'm going to take you next. And the challenge is to find the coziest reading spot in the shop. I'm ready for that. Let's do it. We're in Bath and these books are in a bath. It doesn't tell. <laughs> It's now raining on us. Um, 
that shop was gorgeous like really quirky really inventive with how they decorated it like there was one room where the whole ceiling was tote bags it was really cool. It was really cool. And uh, I feel like every time you turned, <laughs> it's really it's raining. raining. <laughs> every time you turned, there was another set of stairs or another hidden room. It just got bigger and bigger. And we did find several cozy reading spots, mm -hmm. including one that I couldn't fit into. <laughs> okay, so next we're going to go to Waterstones. And the challenge there is to find a book that made you cry. Which will be easy with the rain. Yeah, <laughs> the rain is making us cry. <laughs> I did not realize from the outside, but it just like goes back and back and back. It's like a cave. As well as collecting books, Carolyn has found the selection of toys. Yeah, he's adorable and I will adopt him. Yeah. So okay. guess we're talking about sad books. You need an emotional support. Yes. Rabbit. <laughs> so I found a sad book. It's not a sad book. It's a lovely book. This is Before Your Memory Fades. It's book number three in the Before the Coffee Gets Cold series. This series as a whole makes me weep because it's just so beautiful. I've made a whole video on this channel, which I will link to, about the whole series. Yeah, I need the rabbit. It's about a time-traveling cafe in Tokyo and people go back in time to fix the regrets of their past. You can't actually change anything. It's just to kind of help you come to terms with things. It's so emotional. So many tears. And the book I've chosen as the one that's made me cry is Beautiful Broken Things by Sarah Bernard. And basically it's the perfect coming of age um, book because it's, I wish I had read it sooner because it just makes you tear up and I can relate so much to it with my friend groups from high school. So if you want to cry, Beautiful Broken Things. I have one more bath bookshop to take you to and it is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take you to Persephone Books. Ooh, that so sounds exciting. It's gorgeous. Basically they publish like undiscovered or rediscovered female authors, mostly female authors from the 20th century and all of their books have this gorgeous grey cover and beautiful end papers. And so the challenge I'm setting us in Persephone is to find a book with end papers that match your outfit. I'm going to say I'm wearing a black jumper but I'm wearing a red skirt, so I'm going to go for red. And I'm going to go for blue and maybe pink hair? I think that's legit, yeah. <laughs> So that was a very productive morning spent in Bath, and now we're gonna, yeah, we're exhausted already. We're gonna take a very quick train trip to Bristol hey. and then keep the scavenger hunt going. Yes. Come with me! <laughs> we're in Bristol! Hey. We're gonna go and find some lunch first priority before we go to small bunch. We just stopped for like a quick little lunch. Oops! That was the most food I've ever seen in my whole life. It was amazing though. It was incredible. Next, back to the bookshops. I am taking you to a secondhand bookshop in the covered market where we've just been eating. This shop has a title that is very significant to us at Pamela. So this bookshop is called Beware of the Leopard, which Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy fans will recognize as a quote from that book. Also, it's yellow. It's yellow. But in this bookshop, I don't have a challenge for us, you have a challenge for yes. us. Yes. We are going to do a bingo card. So I prepared a bingo card with lots of little challenges and we will have three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes to find as many books as possible or as many bingos as possible. So choose wisely. I'm not wisely. even going to get one in three minutes. That's so hard. You're, you're going to have to. I should have bought my trainers for running. I have them. What do you think? Oh yeah. <laughs> Cheat. Three. Wow. 
<laughs> Let's see if Caroline can come in second place. <laughs> <laughs> and I did a proper one, let it be shown. I got five books, unlike Emma, who got four. Yeah, but that's called strategic thinking. <laughs> So this shop is amazing. It's like a treasure trove. I've never seen so many books packed in. It's incredible. Literally. But you know what's most important? I won. <laughs> <laughs> I won the game. She cheated. She uh, used the bingo square in the middle and I went for five books. It's called Good Business Sense. Next up, we've got two to go. The next one, the penultimate one, is Stanford's, which is a travel bookshop. Ooh, and so, Appropriately, the challenge that I want you to do in this one is to find a book from the place that you are from. Which is? France. <laughs> but get like as close as you can to specifically where in France. Okay, great. Good luck with finding one in England. And I've got to find somewhere in Kent. <laughs> okay, go! on a tour around the world. Yes, we have. This is a really fun bookshop because it's got loads of fiction books upstairs and then you go downstairs to a world tour of travel writing and maps and globes. It has everything and we've seen so many good books. And we've traveled to both of our homelands. We have. Kent and Bordeaux. Kent is way more glamorous. Um, we have one more stop to go to. We are going to go to Bookhouse, our final bookshop. And so I've got a special challenge for this one. Oh. We have to pick a book to recommend to the other person. I don't know you. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, Caroline, tell me, why have you recommended me Breasted Eggs? <laughs> I've recommended it because it is a Japanese strong feminist book and it's sad from what I hear. It's a great recommendation. I'll tell you how good the recommendation is. I've already read it. <laughs> so I win. Right? So you win. <laughs> I recommended Children of Blood and Bone nice. because I know you like the Atlas Six. Okay. So I chose you another fantasy book that I know has some, I believe has a love triangle in here. And also it's been pretty big on TikTok. And That's as the fair. TikTok queen, I feel like you should read this one. That's fair. That's fair. I could read that, honestly. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, our tour of Bath and Bristol comes to an end. We've been to eight bookshops today. Whew, they what were, a day. What a day. It was really fun. They were all so different. They really were. Bookhouse was so cute. I love their sections for every book. Yeah, it was gorgeous. It was very like minimalist design. There was lovely music playing. It felt like a very chilled atmosphere. It had a really good non-fiction section, which was lovely. Then a Gen Z section. So that was eight amazing, beautiful, very different bookshops that you can visit all in one day. I'll put all of their links in the description box below if you want to go and visit Bath and Bristol. Two gorgeous cities as well. Love them. Absolutely love them. And the bookshops. And so if you want to see more videos like this, I will link here to a video I made on a tour of Brighton bookshop. So do click through to browse that one. And thank you to Caroline for coming along with me. I will link to her TikTok below so you can find out more about our latest books.